Hello everyone, how's everyone doing? Oxnum Gaming 8 here, and welcome back to my channel, and this is part 2 of my TMNT Dark Horizons Let's Play series. If you remember in the previous episode, we started our adventure underground and used Leonardo and defeated Buttercup, and it looks like in today's episode we are going to be traveling further underground and using Raphael. Who, if you know of the show, is the hottest of the heads. So if you enjoy or if you'd like to see the series continue, like the video. And if this is your first time watching the channel, subscribe and turn on all, not all notifications so you can't miss my future uploads on this game. Which is going to be every Tuesday, Friday, 3pm British time. And, subs and subscribing is a brilliant way to help me reach 200 subscribers. Which I very much appreciate, so that's my next sub goal. And in case you do not know, only 10% of you who watch my vids are actually subscribed. So if you're not already, subscribe, you have to. It's, it appreciates, it helps me reach 200 subscribers a lot. But anyway, let's get back into the action. Alright, so... From where the previous video left off, we are apparently in this, like, acid-infested area. We're just gonna jump on these platforms. It looks like a wrecked subway, not gonna lie. Yeah, it probably does look like a wrecked subway. And in case you want to know what Raphael's special ability is, because with Leonardo's special ability, yeah, Leonardo's special ability is just the jump slam. Yeah, Leonardo's special ability is just a jump slam, but Raphael's special ability is he can... Yeah, Raphael's special ability is he can, like, dash through enemies and it injures them. Yeah. So, if you ever feel like using weapons for experience, just dash through your enemies constantly, and then it'll kill them. I thought their blood was red for a second. Oh, nice, got some more shurikens. And in case you're wondering why the colour of the health bar and the shurikens and the word score is the same colour as the character's bandana, it just is. I don't know why. It's always quite cool to see a shadow version of all the ninjas where they're all blacked out. Yeah. Because black's my favourite colour. Yeah, and that, but it's just... Because I like dark stuff in general, to be honest. Alright, I think the more you hit an enemy, the more damage they receive. Just go dash right towards them, saves me having to defeat them later. I'm just gonna, like, run here. I'm gonna try and kill that guy. Run all you can! My dash will eventually kill you! Hey you, get back here! I'm not gonna stop until he's dead, no matter what happens. And plus, why does that- I don't know why that beast sounds like a monster. Yeah, that beast sounds like a giant deep voice muffled person. Wait, let's hear that again. Hong <laughs> Hong. He sounds like a giant dog growling. I don't know why. Yeah, I have no idea what that sound actually originates from. Probably if an insect could talk. I don't know. Yup, as you can see, although Raph and Mikey don't get along, they are chosen to. In fact, Raph and Mikey are forced to work with each other. Alright, new point unlocked. Well, I'm going to explore this bit anyway. Come on, Mike. Let's go. I wonder what's through here. A power up right off the bat. Oh, come on, you can't kill me now. I'm gonna use shurikens to kill you. There needs to be a pizza somewhere. Phew, there's a pizza there. I, th I feel like I almost blacked out then when I said there's a, there's a pizza there. Oh, God, I nearly blacked out. I was basically doing my impression of elderly Raphael. No, I fell. You do not fall as you are Raphael, the hottest head of the gang. I mean, they technically all are hotheads equally. I'm just going to play it safe right here and then traverse all the way here. I'm crouching like I'm using stealth in TMNT Shadow Heroes. That's another Flash game I actually played right then. Let's just see what the hell is down here. Go grab that and a pizza! Pizza time! I'm just gonna use all this to kill you. Like I can destroy you in one shot! Don't know why I'm sounding like that guy on the internet for some reason I've heard of. 
You probably might have heard of him either. I'm not going to say his name as soon as I'll get demonetized otherwise. Alright then, let's just jump up here and then up here. Wait, I already got that lever, did I not? Let's just go through it. Eh, there were stairs there, but I'm not going to traverse them anyway. Because we can walk up here now. Oh, come on! Well, at least headbutting it kills it. At least headbutting the thing kills it. Let's just go through here first. Let's see what's through here. Oh, it's just a pizza. In case you're wondering why I'm doing an Italian accent for that, it's because I actually went to see the Mario movie for the, the Mario movie for the first time in my life today, by the time I'm recording this. Oh god, not the froglets. Hey you, I'm too famous to die. You can't kill me right here. Not screw that, I'm just gonna go all the way there. You can't kill a Kung Fu Frog. Yeah, and in case you've been paying attention to the Ninja Turtles show, Spider Bites does actually call the Turtles Kung Fu Frogs. If I had to choose one way to heal, whether it be pizza or the respawn points, I'd have to say the checkpoints because... Yeah, I'd have to say checkpoints because you can actually... You can actually regain full health that way. Yeah, you literally can. Let's just drop down here and see what's through here. You see that giant glowing worm thing? You know what? I'm not even gonna pay attention. I'm just gonna get the hell out of there. Hey, you! You're standing on my checkpoints, stupid purple frog that can teleport. There's like a purple variation of his green, disgusting brother. Wait, what's the frog's death sound? Meow. <laughs> like, meow. Dun, 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 dun. What, like the song Neon Blade is what he sounds like. Not gonna lie, the frog actually does kind of remind me of the song Neon Blade. I'll leave a link in the description for that song if you want to give it a listen to. Yeah, Neon Blade by Moondite. That wasn't actually the... Although you might be a bit surprised, but... The, yeah, although you might not agree with me, the first Moondite song I actually heard was Wake Up. I'll leave a link in the description for that song as well. Wait a minute, where could everything else be in this game? I seriously don't know why. Alright then, let's just go down here and go grab a pizza and then jump here, grab some shurikens. They're not, they're not shurikens anymore, they're shurikens. Nope, they're not pronounced shurikens anymore, they're shurikens. Oh, come on, you just had to hit me with acid, didn't you? Yo, I'm getting out of here before these enemies kill me. Because I haven't played this game in, like, years. I can't remember how long it's been exactly since I last played it, but it was a good while, actually. Nope, that just leads down to the abyss. Let's just check through here. No, no, no. Sorry, I was just sorting something out. Oh, come on! Weapons are back to normal. Are you kidding me? Oh, nice, some more shurikens. Shurikens, shurikens, come to papa. That's right, come to daddy, shurikens. I'm using a lot of old sayings with hideous meanings for some reason. Right, grab some health so we can gain some health, and then we can traverse through here. Huh. I'm guessing we have to go up here, even though I clearly haven't played this level in quite a long time. And it's my least favourite level in the entire game, actually. Oh, nice. Nine minutes into it, and we're already in the area we reach before we do the boss battle. I'm just kill this dumb frog and Rotha here. I'm just calling those things Rothas because they sound like Rolf. Yeah, they make a noise that reminds me of the word Rolf, if you know what that is. I don't actually know if Rolf is actually a word. I don't really know why. But anyway, let's just drop down here. Time to fight the Sands of Beast. Now, the Sands of Beast is quite an interesting boss battle, actually, because you actually have to wait for him to stop before you can attack his heart. And in case you want to know what his heart is, it's this thing that goes green when you hit it. Listen. Yeah, that's right, Sands of Beast deserves a screaming pain. 
because I'm hurting his heart on the inside. <laughs> Right, right, just wait for the sounds to appear. Your screw sure you can, you'll need them in this time. <laughs> right in your face, nitwit! Oh god, watch out for him, watch out for the center beast clones! Yeah, when I first played this game, I thought that the center beast actually cloned himself for that part where there are multiple versions of him. But that's apparently not the case. I don't actually know what the case is. Maybe he's just like a fast traveler. Yeah, maybe that could be my theory on this game if ever has theories. And when you defeat the center beast, it'll rot away and fall to die. It's like, thank you for killing me. Mutated mushrooms? Now that's interesting. Alright guys, anyway, like that, I'm gonna end part two here. If you enjoyed, like. If you have not already, subscribe. And I'll see you on the next episode, where it looks like we're playing the second to last level in the game and using Donatello. Anyway, I shall see y'all then. Goodbye, have a great day, have fun, and stay safe.